Previously on Speed Racer. It's Dad! I need you to... Alpha Academy... Dad! I repeat, I need you to stay away from Alpha Academy! No, I lost reception. Headmaster Mustache, that guy's an imposter from Racer Academy. Horse apples! Guards, get that there varmint and find his buddies! Whoa! Whoever these guys are... Or seem interested in the Mach 6. Yeah, and there's no question that Alpha is behind this. I guess our old man is onto something after all. Yeah, I just hope he can sabotage the project before it's too late. The committee's got big plans for that hourglass part, and I don't want to be around to see what they are. So, bro, how are things with you and Annalise? Believe it or not, pretty good. I'm still amazed you guys are dating again. Yeah, me too. But ever since she teamed up with us against those Alpha Academy freaks, things have been much better between us. She's only got eyes for me again. So, you really think we can trust her? Almost definitely. She does seem different lately. A kinder, gentler Annalise Sazek. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. Yeah, yeah man, that's what we're talking about. Looking sharp, X. It seemed okay in there. You sure the virtual track is safe again? Absolutely, definitely, without a doubt. I checked it myself. And the Mach 6? Our girl's looking mighty fine, Speed. She handled like a dream just now, right? Well, yeah. What'd I tell you? The track, the car, everything. Tip top, it couldn't be better. What? And I think it was cool of your headmaster Sneedle. Uh, Spritel? Uh, sorry, Spritel. It was way cool of him to invite us here today. Even though our schools are fierce competitors on the track, there's no reason why we can't all be friends off of it. Oh, I, I totally agree. I mean, we have so much in common. What are you doing here, dude? You get lost? Your GPS breakdown? Whoa, calm down. Your Uncle Sproutle invited me. For what? To flirt with my girl? X, don't be jealous. Alpha and I were just talking. No, as a goodwill gesture to foster better relations between our schools. And besides, we were just having a friendly convo. No biggie. Yeah, well, uh, it's a biggie to me, so stay away from her. Oh, <laughs> tough guy. I'm scared. I've seen you drive, remember? The day you can beat me in a race, that's the day you can come here and play the big shot. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Care to put that to the test? <laughs> you challenging me? You know it. Let's race it out. It's on, chump. Hey, whoa, what's going on here? Your insane brother and alpha leader are about to race each other. They're fighting over me. Isn't it hot? What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Duh, that just shows how ignorant you are, speed bump. Guys have been dueling each other for centuries over the love of a cool chick. I'd fight for you too, Annalise! Ew! And no funny business. A clean race. You got that, punk? I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, one more thing. Winner gets the girl. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go! side of the track. A road crew's making repairs. X, stop the race. There's a road crew blocking your path. Copy that, bro. That just calls for... Uh, a detour. X is a wild man. Tell me something I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. Where are they going? Whoa! Ah! Ready?
ready to eat my dust, Alfalfa? Sure. After you show me how. Sayonara, loser. Whoa, move, dudes! And these are our administrative offices. All of our facilities at Racer Academy are state-of-the-art. Very impressive, Headmaster Sprite. I must say you run a first-class operation here. <laughs> Look, here they come! Boy, did you fall out of the stupid tree and hit every branch on the way down? You've got some explaining to do. Uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Spritel. It's just that Alpha Door challenged me, and this kind of reckless behavior is completely unacceptable. Someone could have been injured, X. You've got to learn to control your temper, or one day you'll really find yourself in serious trouble. I just got tired of all this boasting and bragging, sir. Use your head, son. You ought to be ashamed of yourself for taking a racer boy's bait. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay, I suppose. No real harm done. Don't you worry. Proper retribution will be forthcoming. Are you okay, bro? I just got an earful from her unk. Man, he was hopping mad. Well, who won? It was a draw. Dead even. So that means you're still my babe, right, Annalise? I'd say we're still a work in progress, X. But yes. At least we won't have to see that alpha punk again. Good riddance. And now I have some exciting news. In return for hosting us when our track was out of commission, Racer Academy is pleased to host Alpha Academy for a series of three invitational races. Coach Mustache? Furthermore, we've agreed that these here races will be a testament to pure driving skill. No gadgets or gizmos allowed. Exactly. Just honest, healthy competition. And we'll be hosting a dance after the first race, so both student bodies can get to know each other better. Student bodies, dude. Max, for the last time, quit being so paranoid. I was not flirting. Well, I don't like it either, but what can we do? Might as well just make the best of it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so, like, you wanna, you know, go to the dance thing? Like, with me? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, well, I, uh, oh, okay, sure. Students, faculty, and guests from both schools, welcome to today's first invitational race between Racer Academy and Alpha Academy. I think I speak for all of us when I say we are honored by your gracious hospitality, Headmaster Spridal. Uh, the pleasure is ours, Coach Mustache. Peanuts, popcorn, and the uh, cookies. Weenies, weenies here. <laughs> yeah, big stupid weenies. <laughs> <sighs> Is there no end to the scorn heaped upon us? No respite from the indignities and humiliation? When will our debt to society finally be paid, Stan? Stan? Stan, what are you doing? Stan? Very boy, boy, all you got to do is you for a race. Here we go, folks! What did I tell y'all? Our boy's already out in front. We got this one in the bag. So fast, Hendons. So is one of ours. But our students are quite the competitors. We'll see, Spridal. 
Ain't nothing like a good, clean, honest race. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, come on, Annalise. Quit playing games and messing with my head. I'm not playing games, X. I'm trying to concentrate on this race, which you won't let me do. Just say you'll go to the dance with me. You know you wanna. I haven't made up my mind yet. We'll see. But it's tonight. We'll see. Oh. Come on. You're falling behind, boy. Time to use the device. No, I can beat him fair and square. Quit arguing with me. Our sponsor insists that we use the device in this race. There ain't no room for compromise, you hear me? Yeah, here we go. That's it, Speedo. You're doing great. Now just bring it home. Use the device now. Huh? What the? <laughs> Oh, no! Speed! Speed! Are you alright? Whoa! Yeah, uh, a bit banged up, but I think I'm okay. Thank goodness. My poor baby! <laughs> Look at you! You're in pain! Way to go, partner! That's showing them wannabes how it's done! I could have beat him without your device, sir. <laughs> I'll say, <laughs> beating that racer boy fair and square sure is nice. <laughs> yes, sirree. Congrats, dude. You did great. Um, thanks, Miss Zazik. <laughs> oh, you can call me Annalise. You know what, Annalise? If you'd rather be with this alpha dork, fine. Be with him. You deserve each other. How, how could this happen? You said the Mach 6 was tip-top in ship shape, remember? It was! I swear! I'm just as puzzled as you are! Connor, the car jumped again, and I didn't push the button. Do you want to explain that to me? Gremlins? Real funny. Tell you what, we're gonna get this car back into your garage and take it apart piece by piece until we figure out what's wrong. How does that sound? Not so funny. We've run every diagnostic test we can. Everything checks out. It's got to be some mysterious outside force at work. Because aside from the dents and, and scrapes and gruesomely twisted crumpled metal and shredded fiberglass, there's nothing wrong with this race car. But I didn't see or feel anything external that could have caused a jump, which means it has to be a malfunctioning Mach 6. Speed, I'm doing everything I can to figure it out. I don't know what else you want me to say. Chim Chim doesn't know what else you want him to say either. Okay, buddy, I'm sorry. Look, I know we're all tired, but we just can't rest until we figure out what's going on. So let's start again from the top. Mustache here. Filing a report on Operation Hourglass. Yes, go on. We successfully deployed the device today in the first race. <laughs> Worked like a charm. Excellent. Finally, we're making some progress. Oh, I'd say better than that. I'd say mission accomplished. Not quite. One test can't provide us with conclusive evidence of the device's durability. You need to deploy it again tomorrow. Is that necessary? I had a hard enough time just getting him to... That was not a suggestion. Well, all right. If you think... Report back tomorrow with further test results. Committee out. Yes, ma'am. X, have you seen Speed? No, not since the race this afternoon. Oh, okay. I guess he's just running late. As usual. Annalise? What are you doing? You told me to be with Alpha, remember? Well, this is awkward. You know I didn't mean that. I meant... You know what I meant. You want to play games? Fine. There are plenty of girls in there who'd love to dance with me. I'm Racer X. Want to dance, Lucy? Um, I'm kind of waiting for your brother. Maybe later? Whatever. I don't need any of you. Speed, where are you? Where 
Where did you learn to move like that? When I was a little kid, I used to watch Funky Dance Train on TV every week and copy what I saw. Well, you're really something out there. Whew, I need to freshen up. Be right back. I'll go get us some punch. Let's rendezvous at the refreshment table at 1900 hours. Joke, that's in five minutes. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Oh, it's you. Annalise. Pardon me, I was heading to the ladies' room. Annalise, listen. What? I'm really sorry. Come on, please forgive me. Well, you've really got to learn to control your temper, X. It makes you act like a jerkus. But I guess you're my jerkus. Yeah? Excuse me, you're Lucy, right? Yes. I almost didn't recognize you. In a dress, I mean. Um, have you seen Annalise? She was supposed to meet me back here like ten minutes ago. No. No, sorry. I... That's weird. Not really. Didn't you know? Tonight's the night you ditch your date. It's ditch a date night. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that why you're alone over here? Story of my life. Well, since we both seem to have been abandoned, would you like some punch? Want to sweeten your mood? Sure. And maybe a dance? Boy, you're really pushy, aren't you? I don't know. I saw you out there. I'm not sure I can keep up. Of course you can. Come on, I'll show you. Hey, hey, bouncing baby bro. So what happened to you last night? Uh, we spent all night long disassembling and reassembling the Mach 6, and we still can't figure out what the problem is. Connor patched up the body, but something's seriously wrong inside. I'm afraid it might be irreparable. <laughs> nerd. You missed the dance. Huh, the dance? Oh, no! Lucy! Yeah, she was waiting for you. I totally forgot! Oh, man, I'm such an idiot. She must be really steamed at me. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Boy, that guy really gets around. <laughs> Lucy, hey, I am so sorry about last night. I completely forgot about the dance. Me and Connor were up all night working on the Mach 6. Uh-huh. Look, I don't blame you for being mad at me. I screwed up, but... You stood me up. End of story. There's nothing more to discuss. Let's get ready for this next race. Yeah, but... Oh, man. Our team is a mess. Connor, we still haven't figured out what's wrong with the car. And I still say there are outside forces at work. Somehow, someone else is monkeying around with us. <coughs> Nothing personal, buddy. Yeah, good idea, Jim Jim. You go sneak into Alpha Team's garage and see if you can dig up any clues about what's really going on. trouble so far. Uh-oh. Two Alpha cars gaining on us. Copy that. This calls for a dual defensive maneuver. Check. Ah, way to go, Annalise. See how sweet it is when we work together? We make a hot team, babe. <laughs> Smoking hot. Time to use the device again, son. What? But I've got him on the ropes! I'm not asking you, I'm telling you! Use it now! No way! I can win this one, fair and square! Are you combining a direct order? With all due respect, sir, yes I am. I was afraid this might happen. Alright, I'll do it myself. Connor, what was that? Why 
I recalibrated our ah! speed. Look out! <laughs> Not again! It's a photo finish, folks, and the winner is. Wait, we have a tie. The shooting star and the spoiled brat. Racer Academy wins the second invitational race. Connor, I wiped out again. At least this time you took Alpha Leader with you. Now do you believe me? The Mach 6 is broken and unsafe. No, I was right, Speed. There's nothing wrong with our girl. Just before you jumped again, I saw some strange energy readings, but coming from outside the Mach 6. Really? Yeah. All we've got to find out now is what, or who, is causing it. And I've got a pretty good idea. So, I sent Jim Jim to investigate. He should be inside Alpha Team's garage by now. Come on, let's go check out the live monkey cam feed. One without cheating. I had it in the bag. That don't matter, boy. I'm your headmaster and coach. My word is the law. So when I order you to do something, you do it. Is this stupid thing all you care about? Because this isn't what I signed up for when I enrolled in your academy. <gasps> huh? What was that? Chip, chip. 